With the shooting show team still in Africa, Paul Childerley and PH Patrick De Beer are heading out after Buffalo. Paul's packed a 375 rifle to deal with this thick skinned member of the Big Five. It's time for the pre hunt brief. This is where Patrick's years of hunting experience comes into play. So, Paul, are you ready for this buffalo? Yes, slightly apprehensive, um, but very excited, yeah. Okay, it's, it's, it's an opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah. And, and I can guarantee you, this is something by the time you get to 80 years old, you're still going to tell this story to your grandchildren. Really? It, it's an experience of a life. Yeah. All right, in terms of rifles, I'm going to take two rifles with for you. The first caliber is a 458, yeah. and that will be for the dense bush areas. We, um, we don't need a scope, and in fact, fitting your rifle with a scope in dense bush puts you in a very difficult situation to actually do perfect shot placement. Really, yeah. Then on the plains, where it's nice and open, it's only grass plains, I will give you the 375. That yeah. is scoped. Yeah. Because there you can expect to take 50, 60 yard shots. Yeah. Whereas in the dense bush, you're not going to shoot further than 20 yards to 30 yards. Really? That's it. Right. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to be close. Um, it's going to be a lot of excitement. It's going to be real hard work. Yeah. It, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Yeah. Proper hunting. That's it. Yeah. Try to keep the shot placement in the bottom third of the body and in line with the leg. Yeah. You remember I've showed you how the bone structure of a buffalo looks. It makes like a triangle towards the shoulder. Yeah. Just behind the triangle, in the bottom third of the body, in the line of the leg. Don't go behind the leg. Yeah. There's no vitals behind the leg. It's right in the line of the leg and going forward towards the chest. If you get a buffalo that wants to fight back, meaning we're going to get a charge, yeah. it's still up to you. I'm going to leave the charge to you. I'll be ready. I'll only take the shot when it's about 20 yards, 15 yards away from you. Really? That's that, that close? Yes. Right. Okay, so I want you to have the full buffalo hunting yeah, experience. Yeah, I yeah. don't want to get you in a situation yeah. where a professional hunter yeah. shoots the buffalo before you even cool. got the shot yeah. at it. Yeah. It's your buffalo. Yeah. Okay. Right. okay. We head out into the bush. The plan is to take out a cool buffalo bull with soft bosses, as Patrick explains. The reason why we want to take out these younger buffalo bulls is due to the fact that we want the gene pool to be preserved within the buffaloes of the hard bosses. This is actually a great way for a client to do a buffalo hunt in Africa but at a much cheaper rate. Patrick scans the ground for buffalo spar crossing the sand road. Eventually he finds what he's looking for. It's time for a foot stalk that will test the field craft of all involved to its limits. With a team of three plus a cameraman following the tracks, this is no easy undertaking. Fresh spar is a good sign and shows we're on the right track. The flattened grass clearly shows where the herd has trampled through the bush. The trio stalk on cautiously. It's easy to underestimate how far a buffalo hunt can take you. This one has the team sticking to the spar for hours. Eventually, Patrick gets them up close and personal to the herd. Amid the cows and older males, they spot a couple of suitable beasts to cull. But the herd is wary, and it nervously moves on before Paul can even raise the big rifle. The only option is to take up the spar once more. Another line of trampled bush indicates two buffalo separated from the herd, and they look likely to be bulls. It's a welcome second chance, but there's still another sweltering stalk to go. Patrick spots more evidence of buffalo in the vicinity, but sticks to the two bulls' spore. This is a dangerous situation, and they press on with heightened awareness and ready to repel borders. We spy the two bulls cooling off in a waterhole. Both are suitable cull beasts, in a clear line of sight and easily within range. All that's needed now is for one of them to stand up to offer a safe shot. Patrick tries to get their attention by snapping twigs.
A brief window of opportunity is all that's needed. Paul delivers a perfectly placed shot and the bull is down right in the middle of camera shot. Stalk complete and all safe, it's time to inspect the fallen quarry. Paul, very, very well done. Thank you. You've had an excellent stalk. We follow the tracks for ages. I mean, you can see we're all sweaty and we're very hot. I mean, it's 32, 35 degrees Celsius today. We got the tracks, we got the dung. You saw the grass, it's, it's all flat when yeah. the buffalo went through. What you probably didn't realize whilst we were stalking is I make use of all my senses in terms of smell, hearing, eyesight. And one telltale sign of this buffalo head is the red bolt ox pecker. And that tells you exactly where the buffalo are. So you saw the bush, it's very, very dense. Yeah. So we can't always visually see the buffalo, we can hear them and we can smell them. But we don't, can't pinpoint them exactly where they are. So I use the birds as they get up. Yeah. Then I know exactly where the buffalo is. Right, and yeah. we just hone in on them. Yeah, yeah. We added them in the water yeah. um, after a lot of stalking. Yeah, for hard work. Um, you couldn't get a better and more safe and more perfect scenario. Yeah. It's actually very, very well done. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah. you very much for all your hard work. You worked hard for that. Thank You're you. welcome. There's just one thing left to do, and that's to get the bull ashore. Extracting a fully grown buffalo bull is no easy task, so we call in the cavalry. What's up? What's up, <whistles> Soon, the bull is on dry land. Photos complete, the happy hunters head off to the long journey home to reflect on their day's events, with a well-earned beer around the campfire, or as it's known in Africa, Bushman's TV.